Welcome back to this Guild Wars Let's Play. Your Sambo and Seraphis heals a lot, our aptly named awesome super healer. And of course, joining us as always is the wonderful drunken <laughs> Regina J. Lacerta. <laughs> What do you mean to laugh? I'm not drunken. You are, well, okay, you're I not... I have anything to drink at all tonight. No, well, well, I'm not talking about tonight. I'm talking, folks, by the way, and welcome to you. Thank you for joining us in this episode, as always. I thought I'd let you in on a little secret. You see, Reggie here, Reggie, yes, the wonderful, lovely, everyone loves Reggie, Reggie, and I went to a friend's poker night the other night, didn't we, Reggie? We did, and we had a great time. Yes, we did. And you can tell by our videos how successful we played. Not. Yes, and of course, Reggie put some videos up of our poker playing uh, on her site. So, uh, <laughs> in fact, we'll put the link in the doobly-doo below so you can go and have a look at those. But I would just like to say that aside from the fact that, oh my goodness, um, why don't you tell everyone what colour your hair was that night, by the way? Bright pink bright pink did you hear that <laughs> folks it was bright pink not blue not green the not a subtle pink. shade it was um, oh it was actually it looked amazing i must say i don't do incredible. anything that's subtle no no reggie doesn't do anything subtle and by the way that includes drinking so let me just say <laughs> that that if you were any i reckon if Let's see, if you were a mythical character or a warrior from what? old, you would be a Viking because you, you I reckon oh. you'd be able to drink anyone here absolutely stone cold under the table. Well, I can table. drink you under the cat table. I know that for sure. Yeah, well, I mean, gosh, I have one drink and I'm anybody. Because you had like two two drinks and you were like la 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 you should have seen he lay on the floor and gave him his, his impersonation of a piece of bacon frying you should have seen it was hysterical I did not I did no <laughs> such thing gosh you're a horror you are terrible but listen folks she must have drunk I I you know what I lost count how many I drinks you had, had one and a half drinks you, I had you, one and a half one and a half gallons one and a half gallons <laughs> Although I must say, One and a half e bottles. <laughs> even, well, look, even though you can certainly pack them away, I must say the last thing that you were was a drunken slobby mess. I mean, you, you can definitely hold your liquor. I'll give you that. And you can probably hold it better than I can and most uh, men that I know. How on earth? Uh, what, I don't understand not, how you can do that. Is it's it not a good thing to be out of. Is it genes? Is it your genetic makeup? Is it, is it years it of training? Be. What is it? Yeah, it could be. My, my, my parents can definitely um, Knock back a be couple. known as good drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must say, you definitely packed them down. That was amazing. But you know what, folks? Oh. There's one other thing that she did do and that she was uh, still pretty good at as well. We got Reggie playing World of Warcraft trading card game. That's right. You can't deny it, Reggie. You played it. No, you... no I'm even tempted to go out and buy a pack of cards. It was super fun. I loved it. Oh, there you go. So super nerdy all around. Uh, you heard it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> uh, she likes the WoW TCG. Yeah, Amazing. you mean you're the horse, right? Not me. You're uh, the horse. Excuse me. Well, you know what? I actually am and that is uh, much as I love the WoW TCG I'm terrible at it like most things but I have a heck of a uh, fun time playing it and especially of course because I play the MMO you know what I didn't think you'd really like it because we all know Reggie's love for WoW well actually no that's a bit rude it's not that you don't like WoW it's just that you uh, have, haven't really had a chance to get into it of course uh, but I really didn't think no. didn't think you'd sort of take a shine to the trading card game as a result. But um, you were pretty good. You're pretty good, I must admit. In fact, um, well, thank you very much. Yeah, so um, it would be great if you got into it because then I'd have someone else to play with. And folks, if you have no clue what yeah, I'm talking, yeah, but I'm not tramping all the way out to the you know the the the, the, the up whoop whoop north where you go to play trading oh, card games oh no you know that was just a once off you know we actually play in the city every friday night folks i go along to a shop here and meet up with about 60 other players and every friday night yeah out. for me that's up a wolf whoop north this going into the city is oh, a of hell course. of a journey of course <laughs> that's right because reggie of course lives out in the sublime suburbs uh not here in the cbd but um look it is a in whole lot of fun yeah, the sticks, the whoop whoops. Uh, but it's a lot of fun, and I'll post a link in the doobly doo as well to the wild. You do wild... have to drive past a cow paddock to get to our place from the city. Yeah, well, that's true. That's true. Mind you, there's nothing like the Paddock's great outdoors, I suppose, just not for me. 
Uh, anyway, folks, there you go. No, so um, too much fresh air for you. It is way too much fresh. Air. What's this? The sun is trying to kill me. Anyhow, speaking of things <laughs> trying to kill us, we should probably have a look at our quest log. And I see here we've got a bunch of quests. We were going through it before, Reggie, and uh, a lot of the stuff I have here is actually um, monk specific. So it's not something uh, that we really want to do together in a hurry. But one of the things that we do have together is this one called the troublesome artifact. And uh, you were saying that it's possibly going to take us somewhere special if we have a look on our map here. I believe it's going to take us to a new outpost. Oh, oh, so hang on. Well, look, on my, you have a look here, on my map, it's actually got Serenity Temple uh, highlighted in green. Now, I know you've spoken about the temple mm. before, and of course, uh, we were talking about it when we were running through the Pockmark Flats, and you can't see it here, but I'm wiggling my mouse over that big epic journey that we basically took from here all the way down through the Pockmark Flats there, through the eastern frontier, and ended up in Fort Rannick, uh, I think. Or no, actually, we went past Fort Rannick, didn't we? Regent, we could see it. I think yeah. we ended up in Regent Valley. That's right, Regent Valley. In fact, you can see there is the instance marker on the map. Uh, and so that was an epic, epic long journey. But we went past Serenity Temple. Now, I didn't realize when you were telling me about it, are you saying that it's actually an outpost, as in an outpost with vendors and possibly a mission, etc.? Is that what it is? I, I, I'm pretty sure that there is an outpost there, whether there's, I mean, there would be at least basic vendors. Okay. So, you know, it'd be interesting going to find out what's there. All right, well, look, I'm looking, I'm looking on the map. I think that's exactly what we should do. We should get underway. But I'm looking on the map, and I can see, if you've got yours open, I can see that where we are now, we can follow a road which takes us into that great big, like, I don't know what it is, like a crater in the in the pockmarked mm. flats. But Serenity Temple's actually off to the west of that. How, how on earth yeah, do we get I there? Think there? Hopefully there's a different way. There's Well, it looks like there could be sort of smaller roads. That looks like the main road. Yeah. But there could be smaller roads that go into that area. Okay. Oh, I there's guess lots there's... of little paths, I can see. Yep, we'll that's find true. It. Well, um, I guess there's only one way to find out, and uh, you're the party leader. Uh, take us there. Um, lead us on our major journey. Although, In although... a minute. I'm just going to get some mercs. Oh, I was just going to say, aha, gotcha. You've forgotten your mercs. But no, folks, of course she hasn't. All right, let's do this. Let's head out into the great wide yonder. Once again, folks, heading out into the eastern frontier. You can see it on the map there. And trying to find this place called a Serenity Temple. Now, Reggie, a lot of people have commented about this and they've said that we're really going to like it. So um, I'm really keen to see. I, I mean, you must have been there before. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I honestly I, can't I, remember been, being there. I'm pretty sure I've been there with my level 20 character, but what it looks like, I can't remember oh, at oh, all. Oh, okay. Oh, look. Look, there's a signpost. Funny that. Serenity Temple. Mm. I'm, hey, Reggie. My amazing adventurous skills are suggesting that we follow the sign that says Serenity Temple. I'm just, wow, just saying. Wow, you're a freaking genius. I know, I'm, well, I am a natural adventurer. I mean, uh, you know, our adventures here kind of mimic my real life. You know, I mean, I mean, people call me Indiana Jones. Really? Really? Is that true? Okay. Yep. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because you are a. Um, um, Professor of archaeology as well. Oh, absolutely. Real life, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. Right. My, my middle name is Harrison. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? It's funny. I was thinking about that the other day. And of course, folks, you'll remember our episodes, uh, our previous episodes, <coughs> excuse me, uh, where we were uh, running along with Alter and Alt. And by the way, big hello to you and thank you once again for joining us. We were talking about our hey, favourite Alt. things. Hey, Alt. Talking about our favourite things. And of course, one of the favourite things that we were talking about. Uh, were movies and we were talking also about how much you loved Brad Pitt well actually how much you didn't uh, but, uh, <laughs> but what I wanted to ask you is funny. Now, are you mm -hmm. a Harrison Ford fan um um, I wouldn't say that I'm not a Harrison Ford fan, but I don't go out of my way to see all his movies. Oh, really? I, d I don't know why. I, I just picked you as a bit of a fan. I thought you might think it was a bit of okay. You know what I mean? Although, then again, I well, guess... Well, there's no naked villain, let's face it. Well, yeah, I was just going to say, it's going to take a lot for someone to fill the big lofty shoes of Nathan Fillion and, of course, our favourite David Tennant, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah! Look at her. You can just you can you can hear the smile on her face when we you can, you can mention hear the words. Blushing, can't you? Yeah, yeah, we can hear her blushing. That's exactly what we can hear. Funny. 
Oh dear. You know what? I haven't watched any Doctor Who yes, for I so don't long. Think I, I don't think I can actually talk about David Tennant around you anymore, you know? Oh. <laughs> Why would that be, Reggie? <laughs> <laughs> just because just, just because um, put you on the spot yeah. I'm, I, you know what I'm going to I'm going to dob her in here folks I know exactly what she's no. talking about and it is that somebody <laughs> that both of us know in real life I realised mm-hmm. the other day in fact it was at the poker night I went running up to her <laughs> and I went oh my god oh my god oh my god Reggie I was just about to walk out the door and you called me out you're like Reggie 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 oh and you wouldn't believe it folks As somebody that uh, Reggie knows in real life in fact that we both know in real life uh, someone you've known like over 10 years I reckon yeah actually it would be that long and uh, in fact how long have you known them for ah uh... Over 20? <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, so, yeah, someone I've known for 10 years, I looked at them and I suddenly thought to myself, oh, my God. Oh, my God, I've just killed, by the way, I've just killed uh, one of our mages. Whoops. <clears throat> Gone to sleep again. Ugh. Just as well I well, have a resurrection, a resurrection spell. spell now. Yep, I do. I actually put one on my hot bar. So there we go. Just a flesh wound. Nothing to worry about, folks. Well Any- done. Anyhow, this person is basically a spitting image of David Tennant. <laughs> I could not believe it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> did you know that? You know, like, wow. I just, I don't know how come I hadn't noticed it before. I love the amazing. fact that you said to me, you, you actually asked me, did you know that he looked like David Tennant? I'm like, he's dirty. Yeah, exactly. Reggie was like, oh, duh. Well, duh. So, yeah, that was pretty funny. So, you basically know somebody uh, that's uh, relatively close to you who is basically the spitting image of Doctor Who, the best Doctor Who. You can't ask for more than that if you ask me. All right, now, looking at our map, (laughs) by the way, um, I reckon... I'm looking at this, and I reckon we have to go all the way to the uh, green pip, which is obviously an instance portal. And I reckon, can you see down the bottom of the pockmark flats there at about 7 o'clock, if it was a clock face, can you see a path that leads off to the west there? Because that's where I reckon yeah. we have to go. I, I mean, I, I, well, I'm kind of still looking here, and I'm thinking there's no shortcut, is there? No, I, that's what I mean. I can't see a shortcut, so I reckon we have to basically uh, wander off that path, and then it heads up to the northwest. That's what I reckon, anyway. Like I say, I can't remember. It's been such a long time, if at all. Uh, but that looks like it to me. Maybe we'll get ourselves lost. I wouldn't be trusting anything I say. That's for sure. But uh, I honestly can't see no, any other way no, there. No, I trust you either. <laughs> Thanks for the vote well, of confidence. Well, at least. No, the map, the, the map is actually being quite informative and actually showing the arrow going right into that big round thing at the pockmark flat. So indeed, we which which therefore begs the, the question. Maybe take it. Well, begs the question: Why are you running in the opposite direction? I'm not. I'm going in the right direction now. I, I was going the opposite direction before. Oh, you mean oh yeah, to look, get back on the road? Right here. Uh, yeah, you know what? I do forget that you can't just hop off the edge of a cliff in Guild Wars. Of course, that's something yeah, to remember, this folks. Isn't, wow. But yeah, if you're not, uh, if you haven't, if you're watching from home and you don't play Guild Wars, that is one thing that uh, some people aren't kind of uh, familiar with. They don't get used to that in an awful hurry. There we go, Serenity Temple. All right, so we're definitely heading along this road. Uh, yeah, people go to run off the edge of a cliff, and there you can't. So yeah, there's no falling damage. It's quite a good thing because the amount of time, seriously, that I've killed myself by. Falling off a cliff in WoW, it's ridiculous. I can't believe how many times I've done it, seriously. You have a death wish. Yeah, it's pretty funny sometimes, too. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. I would, I would create a character just to constantly throw them off a cliff, I think. I think that would be hysterical. <laughs> that, that'd be about right, too. Oh, funny. Actually, speaking of uh, WoW and characters, I can't remember what character you played... Uh, in the trading game uh, at our poker night. I'm, I'm struggling to remember now. Was it a priest? I can't remember. Oh, she, I, need um, to just, I just need to see no, this uh, collector. Droidy had the priest. Oh, yep. And hello, Droidy. Big shout out to you. She was the hostess, Hi, hostess of our wonderful poker night too. Thank you very much, Droidy and DK. Really appreciated that. It was good night. Good night. Um, okay, so if you weren't a priest... Oh, is this a boss? It's a boss. Look it's a boss. It's got a green glow. That means it's a boss. Now, hang on. Let me see. Is it a necromancer or is it a uh, ranger? I'm not sure because it's not really sort of seen using any spells. Yeah, 
Yeah, I know. It's weird. I mean, I know one is dark green. It's dead now, so. Well, one's yeah. dark green, one's I, light I green. Think, I think that green is a necromancer. Okay. I could be wrong. But, um, yeah, I think that green's the necromancer, but it wasn't really using any spells on us, so. No, it was just doing uh, melee, wasn't it? Now, that's another question that mm. uh, a few people have been asking, by the way, uh, which is that they know about what we've spoken about in the past, which is the skill signet, or I can't remember exactly what it's called, but the signet you get where if you kill a boss like that, you can actually steal its abilities. Now, number one, do you remember the actual name of it? Because it escapes me for now, but number two... Uh, uh... Yeah, do you remember? Something of capture. Signet of capture. Oh, signet of capture. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's exactly what it's called. But where on earth do we get it from? Or when do we get it? I can't remember. Because I, I can't remember either. Well, maybe this is a good opportunity for Reggie to not use her cheat sheets that she never uses. <coughs> uh -uh. No, uh, no, I never just Google anything to get the answer. No, that's right. You're just uh, the all the Shut fountain of knowledge. The fountain of you are a Guild Wars wiki. Uh, Guild Wars wiki. That's what you are. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe even if you can't look it up, maybe uh, one of our viewers will be able to do that because I'm really looking forward to get that getting that. And I know I do have it on my other characters, my level twenty characters. But for the life of me, I honestly can't remember where I got it from, or whether it's a quest, or uh, whether it's something you can well, purchase. Well, my level 20 character doesn't have it. Oh, really? And I have actually, well, I have actually captured a skill, and I got a gold skill by doing it. Right. And it was, like, put back in my skill list to re-equip, because when, when I took the skill from the boss, it... Um, it sort of replaced the, the skin to catch it with that skill, but it didn't like put it in storage to re-equip it later. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Do you remember whether it came from a quest or a, 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 a like a skill vendor? I can't remember. No, I can't remember at all. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go, folks. Uh, there's an opportunity for you guys to earn some more internet points. We'll throw up 10 internet points if you can tell us whereabouts you get the signet of capture from and uh, how you go about doing that. Can I ask What's that? With, with you, you, keep on, you keep on offering um, uh, internet points. Absolutely. What can be done with your internet points? Well, you know, it's funny you should mention that because a lot of people have said that. And one of the suggestions was that... Uh, we throw up a, web, a website somewhere uh, and we start capturing the actual amount of points that, uh, oh my god, look at that crystal, it looks amazing. Oh, shiny things, <laughs> get distracted. Um, in fact, I love this whole area, look how like amazing it looks. Look how big it is, this is incredible. I, I, you know, this, this area just never ceases to amaze me, it's incredible, I love it. Um, no fog of war here, my boy. No fog of war, that's the one. Uh, yep, somebody mentioned that perhaps we should actually start off a site and start tracking these internet points. I mean, look, goodness knows what they're going to be used for and what they'll be worth in the future. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Maybe maybe one day in the future we'll be able to do some giveaways again, perhaps. Well, um, my awesomeness by default would give me 100,000 internet points to start with. Oh, well, of, of course. I mean, that's the first thing I thought of, Reggie. I mean, you know, you are so awesome. You are internet points. Internet points uh, just embody everything that you are, which is fictitious <laughs> and useless. There we go. <laughs> oh, listen to her. Oh, She's wounded. Snap, Dambo. Oh, that was pretty good, though, you got to admit. Yeah, for, off that the was. Cup. I'll actually pay that one. <laughs> um, now, by the way, where are we going? Where? Oh, oh, you're right. Look, there's a little side side road up here. Oh, there Reggie, is. Reggie was right. Wouldn't see it if you didn't know it was there. Yeah, I know. Well, it didn't actually appear on the map earlier, but it's just opened up now. And I reckon also that there's one down the bottom as well. Uh, but anyway, we'll see where this one leads Very us. Very probably. Really looking forward to seeing this um, this temple because so many people have said so many cool things about it. So, uh, and again, I'm mm. I honestly not sure if I've ever been here before on any of my characters. Are you sure it's not new? I mean, has this been around forever? It, it does sound familiar. Okay. I can't for the life of me say if it you know, is yeah. actually All right. a new or an old thing, but it doesn't sound familiar. Oh, well, look, there we go. There's an opportunity for one of you guys at home watching along tonight to get some more uh, famous internet points um how has well rather what is serenity temple uh where did it come from what's its story most importantly how long has it been here has it been here 
since day one of Guild Wars or was it a more recent addition in one of the expansions or an update really like to know there you go another opportunity for those useful famous internet points one day they'll come in handy I promise right now though it's just uh, yeah it's it, just a weird Sambo thing <laughs> Well, that's not quite what how I would have put it, but um, I can't disagree, that's for sure. Right, now I need to cleanse myself. I've got some kind of weird... A weird Sambo thing by a weird Sambo. Oh, are you suggesting I'm weird? You're oh, the weirdest Sambo I've ever met. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <clears throat> I don't know any other Sambo, so I'm guessing that's an insult, but anyway... <laughs> Now, um, how was your week, by the way? You know what, uh, by the way, folks, as you probably know if you watch any of my other uh, Let's Play episodes, I got dragged away to Sydney. It was horrible, yuck, yuck, horrible week, and I'm finally you back. You didn't. All you did was, oh, I'm in Sydney. Oh, I'll take it out for a big, lovely seafood dinner. Oh, poor me. <laughs> Look, listen you, even though that was very nice food and all the rest of it, it doesn't make up for the fact that it was Sydney, you know, it was still horrible, very long days, really, really long, hard Hi days. Hi to all our Sydney viewers, thanks for watching, we oh, really yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> we do appreciate that, but just, it doesn't mean that I like it, it was, oh, I just don't agree with Sydney. It's just something between us. We just don't get on, you know. Um, but anyway, I think it's got something to do with the fact that normally I'm having to do awful work whenever I go. But um, anyway, point is, it Stay gave me a nasty. It gave me a nasty cold. That's the thing. It was horrible. Uh, but because I was away, um, Reggie, we didn't record all last week, so it's been basically two weeks since we've been together, which has been bliss. I mean, which has been horrible. I haven't known what to do with myself. <clears throat> Yeah, anyway, here we go. Oh, yeah, no, you've missed me. Yeah, I have missed you. Yes, that's right. <clears throat> anyway, folks, let's have a look at this. We've got but ourselves where we are. a collector. I know we're at Serenity Temple. I'm having a, look at this, uh, having a look at this vendor here. Has he got anything that's better than what I have? And I don't think so, because, of course, I've got this wonderful gift here. My legendary, by the looks of things. Look at that nice gold name. Insightful Holy Branch of Healing Prayers. Uh, and that was, of course, given to me by Ultra. And oh, by the way, uh, Reggie, are you still rocking your gift, your bow um, enhancement or whatever it is from uh, Ultra and Alt there? I am, I am. Yeah, well, look at, very look cool at, look at my bow. gorgeous bow to start with. This was from um, C.B. Cronin. Oh, yeah, that's right. So you got the gift of a bow. Yeah, and then I had the... Uh, yeah, and then you got yeah, the Yeah, and then I had the gift of uh, an add-on from, from Alt. Yeah. <sighs> Using your feminine wiles. Anyway, here we go. Take us in, Captain. Arr. Take us... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I presume... <laughs> uh, let's just hope that was Hello Kitty making those noises. Anyway, here we are at Serenity well, wasn't Temple. Me. Was it Whoa. you, Sambo? Whoa! This looks awesome. Look at that. It looks like an old Colosseum. Wow, this... Okay, I, I approve of this temple. This is a really cool design. Oh, you're like Jack's skeleton. What's this? What's this? There's something before my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it was pretty good too. Um, I, this this is fantastic. <laughs> oh, look at this tree. Look at that, folks. The tree. It's like a, a a water feature tree. Can you see that? It's got little pools of water. That oh, that is awesome. Uh, seriously, you guys at ArenaNet are just amazing. You have the best. Uh, imagination the best design it's just so cool um what is that that's a statue of oh 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 now what are we meant to do in front of the statues is it neil i can't remember it is neil neil and don't we have to pray as well there we go neil okay now what did no, that just give neil us and the oh. avatar will appear oh oh hello avatar Countless are the blessings of Duena. Do you dedicate this offering to one in particular? Okay, so is that not offering us anything because we've already done it in another area? Is that right? Could well be, yeah. Yeah, because she's sort of got nothing for us there, but still very cool. Uh, and I love those statues too, the way the energy's holding the uh, bits of rock together. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, I've actually found a quest here. Priestess Rashina. 
Interesting. Replacement. Well, that's our hand in. Oh, it is too. Troublesome artifact. Oh, so this Eldritch Sextant that has caused such concern. Fascinating. Oh, It'll take some time for me to study. Not a hand in, a quest update. Yeah, quest update. It is too. And what do we got here? Dwayne's blessing upon you. Uh, I have a task that needs doing, and due to recent events, I find that we're short of worthy monks to accomplish this task. Now, I'm uh, pretty sure that for you, Reggie, it'll say worthy rangers, I'm going uh, gonna to imagine. Reports of a char warband have filtered in from the eastern yeah, frontier. Yeah, they're short of worthy monks, and they've had to fall on you instead. <laughs> yeah, I, well, it must be rough times. They're desperate. They're asking for anyone they can get. Hi, it's Sambo. I'm here to help. <laughs> uh, anyway, Devona is heading out. <laughs> To meet them and requested some... Oh, Devona! Devona, it's Devona. I like Devona. Uh, requested some healing support from the temple. But alas, there is no... Uh, what does it say? Nobody here who can undertake this task. Even now, she waits just outside the temple for our assistance. Will you meet with Devona and help her combat the char... Hey, this sounds like a really cool, fun quest. I bet you it's kind of like an escort one. Mm. Are you getting the same one, by the way? So it's, what's it no, called? No, I've just, I've just got the hand in for the troublesome artifacts. And oh, that's okay. pleased to, but it looks like you've actually got a, a profession quest as well. Oh, so it's a profession one. Okay, Have all right. Have you done so, the hand in for the trouble, troublesome artifact? Yep, I do. And it just says to uh, return to Warmaster Titus for your reward. Of course, if we look on the map there, uh, you'll see mm. that it's Ascalon City is where we need to go there. Uh, but look, I've got this priest one here. Do you feel yeah, like giving me a hand with it? Bit of fun. Yeah, well, apparently uh, I get... 500 experience, of course, as a reward, but it says here, I think there are a couple of skills. Infuse health, I have no idea what that is, and strength of honor. And again, no idea what that is either. But look, we've got about 10 minutes left on the episode. Could be perfect timing. What do you say? Definitely. All right, well, it says to head out the front, so ready when you are, basically. Oh, whoops, go away, you. There we are. I still, I love that tree. That is so cool. wonder what this place was. I mean, obviously, it's a temple, but... Uh, like I said earlier, folks, if you want some more uh, infamous internet points, some uh, Sampo and Reggie internet points, I'm going to rope her into it as well. Uh, go look it up, figure out what it is, tell us what the history behind this place is, uh, how it got here, and of course, uh, more importantly, um, oh, hang on, I get, got distracted again. What happened well, I'm then? just looking at around the outpost, where it might be outside the outpost now, but I'm just looking at it, and um, uh, there's no other there right okay no like so that's what i mean like, so it's not a, it's not a well populated outpost no but that's even more reason why i'd love to know what its backstory was because you know knowing that the guys from guild wars and by the way folks looks like we have to head back up north into the eastern frontier and we've got the um very iconic devona right there look at that hello devona following us around um yeah that's why i'd love to know about the backstory because it doesn't seem to be uh, much obvious in the way of clues right here but knowing the guys and gals uh, on the arena net team there will absolutely be a backstory behind it don't you reckon i mean they just don't do anything oh, yeah, for no definitely. reason yeah well i'm still also hoping that there is a story too on um, if you see on the um well the parts of the arch that's over this staircase again there's that face that woman's face on the arch oh there it is too there we go <clears throat> Yep, I can and see I it. And I want to know if that is supposed to be, like, is that uh, Lady Althea? Or or is that one of the gods? Or maybe it's just, like, one of the key developers who did that part of the... Well, it could be. <laughs> the, ...the graphics in the game. Who knows? It yeah. could be. So, you know, like a little... Yeah. Yeah, like a little... Um, put in or something? A little uh, reference, a little in-joke, in a little Easter egg, I think, is the word we're looking for there. Um, mm. Okay, so there you go, folks. That's another set of uh, Reggie internet points there. If you can uh, tell us what that face is. Is there a story behind it? And is there any reason for it? I'm sure there is. Uh, because like we say, uh, these guys don't tend to do things by halves. And as we've found time and time again throughout our episodes here in Ascalon, there's generally a reason for everything. And, of course, they love to keep the continuity levels high. You know, the, Reggie, there's nothing worse, is there... Whether it's a movie or a book or a TV series or a game or whatever it is, um, where you have retconning. And of course, um, for those of you at home who don't know what retconning is, basically it stands for... Yeah, I don't think I know what retconning is. Right, well, I think a lot of people have heard of it and they don't know exactly what it is. And it basically, I don't know if this is um, uh, exactly what it stands for, but it's basically 
retroactive um, continuity. And w what it means is that people who go ahead and change what's already been established, but they, you know, so in other words, you know, you may have, for example, you know, a movie, part one. So let's just, for argument's sake, say, t um, I don't know, Terminator 1, you know, and you establish a backstory and characters and all the rest of it. Then you have Terminator 2, and, you know, Terminator 2 remains faithful to the story and, you know, the characters, and if something happened in part 1, it'll get acknowledged in the sequel, right? So that's continuity, mm -hmm. we, yep. we know that. Yep. And, and much like, Reggie, you know, your wonderful photo bucket series of pictures where you're, um, you know, uh, basically chronicling the before and after, post and pre-searing, and the guys uh, at ArenaNet are keeping up that continuity by, by keeping things in the right place and aging them and all that sort of stuff. Well, m imagine, by the way, where the heck are we going? We're going the wrong way. I don't know. They keep on going through these dead end bits. Yeah, we need to go, yeah, basically northeast. There we are. Yeah, going the right way now. Um, so, um, retro uh, continuity or ret retroactive continuity it means that, oh, by the way, this this way, up here, the, your other northeast. Yeah, I know. I'm just going to get this boss here. Oh, a boss, a boss, a boss. Whoops. Sorry about that. Didn't see that. Uh, retroactive well, continuity. Well, see, I've realised that I don't actually have this um, this quest in my log, so I'm not following any pit. Oh, of course you're not <laughs> so it's either. silly me actually following. Duh. Whoops. I never thought of that. Sorry about that. Uh, but, yeah, so ret retconning Blindly something would be... Where, for example, um, you know, part one has established something. Um, in our example, mm -hmm. Terminator 2 has recognized and acknowledged it and continued on the theme. But then, for example, part three will come along and completely turn it all on its head. Just for the sake of a cool story, it'll ignore everything that happened in the past. Um, someone that was perhaps dead is miraculously alive again. Or an event that happened all of a sudden didn't happen. Or it happened differently. And it's like a cheap and nasty way out of a good story, if you know what I mean. And that's basically what retconning is. Yeah. And it comes up okay, a lot. Okay, so yeah, it can't be a good thing then. Mm. No. And of course, all you do is you effectively annoy any fans that you have who all go, well, hang on, you know, um, you know, Billy Bob died in the first episode. So how come all of a sudden he's alive in the third one? We're and, heading you know, back to the like temple, that. Sambo. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, actually, that's okay because there's a side road. I'm actually following my uh, little pip here. I think I let us oh, astray. Okay. Yeah, there's a side road here, and that'll take us back to the northeast. My bad. So, gosh, on your Sambo. Look at our trail. We've gone all the way down because we're yapping away, and then all the way back up again. <laughs> it's classic. Absolutely no clue where we're going. Like I said earlier in the episode, my middle name is Harrison Ford, Indiana Jones. <laughs> I would make an outstanding explorer. Well, you know, I've actually realised I don't even know what your middle name is. Oh, really? Good. We'll keep yeah. it that way. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Funny, actually. Uh, my middle name is named after my grandmother's surname, actually, is what is, it oh, is. Okay. So there you go. I That's don't know yours cool. either, by the way. So uh, there you go, we're even. What, Regina J. Lacerta? Yeah, what is the J? Oh, wait a minute. No, we do know what the J stands for. What am I saying? <laughs> Homer J. Simpson. That's where that comes from, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the J stands for J. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't watch much Simpsons, especially not the more recent episodes, uh, but I do mm -hmm. recognise that from the series. It's very funny. I must say the classic Simpsons humour was fantastic. Oh, look, it's my favourite open area again. That is just amazing. Look at that oh, draw look, distance. Look at the big folks. crystal, blah, blah, blah. Oh, amazing. look. It, yada, it's yada, amazing. Yada. I, you know what? Someone the other day on one of our Guild Wars uh, episodes said, oh, my God, you know, if Sambo gets so excited uh, by all of these places, I can't can't wait for him to see Lion's Arch. And um, I said, oh, well, actually, you know, Reggie and I have seen Lion's Arch many a time. And of course, we've, uh, Reggie, we've filmed a number we've of our special. Lion's Arch as well. Well, we've filmed a lot of our yeah. special episodes there, uh, actually. Our introduction was in Lion's Arch. Oh, it was like too. All episode. That while ago. Yeah, episode zero. <laughs> episode wasn't it? zero. Yep, you did right. Ah uh ha. -huh. Drink. Um, oh, you are right. But. Uh, <laughs> And someone said, oh, well, gosh, you know, um, how many times do you have to get excited about seeing something? And I said, you know what, I'm absolutely, I have no shame in that. I can run past the same thing, whether it be in Guild Wars, whether it be in WoW, any game, 
and in my mind I get as excited as I did the very first time I saw it. It's just me. It's just the way I am. And uh, I make no bones about it and certainly make no apologies for it. Uh, because no? it's, that's how I get enjoyment out of the game. I just love that feeling over and over again. I love the feeling of the first time seeing something. So, um, you know, maybe I've got a fishbowl memory. Maybe. Maybe I conveniently forget. I don't know. But it's a great feeling and I never want to change. So We're just lucky we don't get the introduction to Dumb Four Times every episode. Yeah, well, well you almost do. Was, let's play You're with Sambo. <laughs> well, I think you pretty much get that. Um... <laughs> But uh, I, I look like I said, I make no bones about it. I get excited uh, about the environments and games. And look, let's face it, at the end of the day, that's why I come here. And I'm sure, Reggie, that's why you do as well. Uh, we love to escape into a nice fantasy world um, and leave all our troubles and woes behind. That's what the whole point of gaming is, after all. I think sometimes we forget that the core message in gaming is having fun and that doesn't mean you can't be competitive. If you're into PvP, if you're into esports, it doesn't matter. Uh, at the end of the day, it's got to be fun or else, hey, what the hell are you doing it for? You know, that's what I say. Anyway, here's Devona right on time too. We've got like 20 seconds left in our episode and she's here waiting for us. The last report I got on the chart said they were over this way. Follow me. Oh, she's off. Okay, last time we were the one driving the bus. Now she's the one doing it and we have to help Devona defeat the char warband. I'm going to have a look on our map and see where it is. Okay, it's just looks like it's up up in those ruins to our right actually it looks like is where she's going to end up so this could be okay. quite fun might have to go a little bit over time folks sorry about that more char bashing yep always up for that yeah because we never go over time normally. Oh, no. we, you know what we're terrible aren't we we are so terrible i really do feel sorry for those of you who uh, try to watch this in your lunch break at work i'm <laughs> sure many people have gotten trouble from their boss because of us you know we should feel really bad about that Still, anyway, yeah, at least you I can pause it. Yeah, I think you should be writing personal letters to everyone's bosses. <laughs> <laughs> Say, hello, it's Sambo and Reggie here. We'd like to personally apologise to your employee. No, well, you know, if, if, if they said to their boss, oh, sorry, you know, I was watching uh, Sambo Let's Play, then the boss would say, oh, really, I'll watch them too. Oh, that's all right then. Of course, of course that's what would happen because everyone watches our Let's Plays. All right, here's the Shah... Char Shaman, I'm going to uh, call that target out there because, of course, that is probably a healer and we want to get rid of him nice and that quick. That will be. Target on him thanks to your target. Yes, whoops, sorry about that. Actually, Reggie should really be the one leading, but it looks like we're... Oh, we're going to lose our mage. Come on, come on, heal. Oh, just managed to save him there. Actually, heal him up, heal him up. Yep, you know what? I'm just going to stick to heals at this point in time. Uh, because yep, it's probably for it. more worthwhile, yeah, rather than trying... You're try and... not really that good at anything else. What, what Reggie oh. really meant to say oh, is... Oh, no, I didn't. ...is that, uh, yes, I should stick with what I'm good at, uh, which is probably not playing Guild Wars, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, right, now, what else do we have to do? <laughs> Hang on, let's have a look at this quest. Return to... Oh! Head back to Rashina to inform her of our victory. May the gods watch over you until we meet again. Hello, Devona, and goodbye, Devona. Okay, if I look at my map, Reggie, it's actually Serenity Temple. I think for the interests mm -hmm. of time, I know it's going to split us up. Oh, wait a minute. If we resign, will it actually take us back? Then we'll to end up back in... Uh, I think it'll take us back to Frontier Gate, but we do have a hand in there, so we could do that and then travel to the Serenity Temple. That'll only take us a minute. All right, let's do that. Quickly, let's do that. Resign. Oh, ready? Oh, the whole party. And yeah, how come Hello Kitty doesn't keel over dead? What's so special about him? That's not fair. Just because he's a cat. She's smart. Oh, she. She. Whoops, oh, sorry, Hello Kitty. Oh, we are back in Serenity Temple. Oh, we are too. And hey, I've got another quest over here. Do you have a quest here at Erudine? Erudine? Because she looks like a no, mesmer. No, I don't. Oh, hey, come and have a look at her though. Her outfit is absolutely outstanding. Will you look at that? Far? I'm just going to zoom past it so we can get a good close Ooh, nice up of her. Nice purple. Yeah, I was going to say that is a Reggie outfit through and through. And look at the depth of that purple. Is that a different colour? Because the purple on your legs is absolutely a different purple to the one of her outfit. Um, I'm, an imag I'm imagining it's a higher tier colour. Or oh, what, what's going on there? <coughs> no, uh, colour blending maybe. I don't know. Maybe she's got a bit. Or it of... could be just. I mean, 
yeah, like when I dyed my first outfit purple, it was a different shade than this one. So it may depend on the, the profession or the, the colour the outfit was to start with. That's true. Or maybe she's got a bit of uh, blue in there or something. Who knows? Anyway, let's have a chat to her. Have you also been studying the local flora and fauna? I find the storm riders in particular to be quite fascinating. It seems that they exhibit powers and abilities not dissimilar to those a mesmer might use. Okay, right. So this is a mesmer quest. I've studied a few of the smaller species and I believe their tissue might... Okay, so long story short, she wants us to collect the tissue sample for her. So we'll accept that. Let's have a look on the old map. Ew, collect a tissue sample. Ew, ew, I know. Now that's also down in the pockmark flats, down to the south this time. Uh, so yeah, we'll definitely have to do that at some point. Although, to be honest, Reggie, not too concerned about it because I honestly don't use any of my Mesmer skills at the moment. So it doesn't really matter. Anyway, let's go up the top here, hand this one in, and I'm probably going to get a couple of new skills, I think. So this will be very interesting. Let's see here. Priestess Rashena. Hello to you. Accept. Oh, yep, here we go. Okay. Right, Reggie, I need your help here. I've got a skill called Infuse Health. May that Dwayne have mercy on your soul asking me for help. Yeah, well, there we go. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, here we go. Lose? Oh. Oh, I'm not sure about this one. This is a spell where I lose half of my current health, but my target oh. other ally is healed for 122% of the amount you lost. Now, that seems to me like a... A desperation button which we all need one of those buttons if you're a healer at some point uh, but that's one of those ones where if you're in a real emergency and your main tank is about to die you sacrifice your own health for a huge heal on the target do you reckon that's worth having at this point or not really i mean we're not really in that kind of situation that much where it matters yeah are we? no we, we we haven't yeah we haven't sort of gotten to that situation too much you've been able to most of the time been able to, if you're concentrating, um, <laughs> heal the, the <laughs> party members up. Yeah, okay. Look, we'll, we'll put that uh, in our bag for later, so equip that later. Here's another one. Uh, what do you think of this one? This one is an enchantment, by the way, and it's called Strength of Honor. While you maintain this enchantment, now I don't like that for a start because maintaining an enchantment, of course, means that my total energy pool goes down. While you maintain this enchantment, the target ally deals 12 more damage in melee. Ah, oh, oh, well, that's knocked that one out anyway, because you don't really do melee damage. You're ranged. So that's no good for us anyhow. No, yeah. All right, so we'll equip and that later. Let Stefan, you know, deal with himself, really. Well, Stefan can be Stefan doing what he does best. All right, so <laughs> how would you like to finish off the episode by map traveling us through to, where are we going? Is it Ascalon City? Hang on, troublesome... Yeah, Warmaster Titus. Is that the one that you said, or is it uh, something else? Wait a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, we've got the hand in to Walmart Master Titus, who's in Ascalon City. That's the yeah. one. All right. Take us there, Reggie. Engage. And uh, there we go. Travelling to Ascalon City in six seconds. Whoops. And, of course, map travel is a wonderful thing in this game. No long uh, running across zones once you've already been there. It's such a good idea. Uh, must say, actually, Rift, Rift have got uh, a similar sort of system with their portals. It's not quite as easy to use. It's certainly not um, free like it is in Guild Wars, but at least they've uh, taken on board the concept anyway. It's quite cool. All right, where is Titus? Cool. I think he's up the top have somewhere, got, isn't he? Just, just um, coming over here, Oh, have you got a quest with this one, Captain yep. Aaron? Yep, we do indeed. Baradin's Advance, got a task for you. In the name of Prince Rurik. Oh, okay, he's waving around some big names there. Led a force. Go to the Hammer Gate in Old Ascalon and question guard Gate Guard Hollis. Learn about uh, what you can of the whereabouts and condition of Baradin's force. You know what? I remember Gate Guard Hollis uh, from I think from pre searing Would that be right? I'm pretty sure that's mm, right. I, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, that name definitely rings a bell. All right, let's head up to Warmaster Titus. To finally finish off this way over time episode. Terribly sorry about oh, that, folks. I leveled up. You leveled? Oh, congratulations, Reggie. Look I at did. that. Um, Ranger Necromancer, level 12. She's definitely wearing the pants now. I'm only a level 11. Yes, congratulations. Let's give her a polite golf clap. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> well done. Let's hand in. I don't think we're going to be anywhere near leveling up. What do we get here? We've got a bunch of XP, some gold, and a defined symbol. There we are. Beautiful. All right, that's us all ready and uh, keyed up for the next episode. Actually, what do you think will we do? Let's see. What do we got here? 
That's my Mesmer one. We don't want to do that. Protecting well, Ascalon. Well, we could either do my... the Baradin's Advance. Yeah, Baradin's Advance. food for thought, we do have the mission at Ruins of Sermia. Just if you want to attempt that one. Oh, oh, Ruins of Sermia mission. Do you reckon that's going to be a long one? Mm. I, I don't know. I have no idea. All right, yeah. well, well, we can chat about that one because we definitely absolutely want to do that mission because you can see, folks, it's the only one flashing on our map. We've got a double win down there in Fort Rannick. We've still got to get a double uh, bonus win for the Great Northern Wall. And, of course, that's a nightmare at the end. Uh, and Ruins of Sermia here, which is a flashing away, meaning that we have to do it at some point. So, yeah, good point, Reggie. We'll definitely need to have a look at that. Anyway, in the meantime, of course, that's it from us. Certainly hope you guys at home enjoyed this episode. And, of course, I hope you'll join us in the next one. Most importantly, I hope you're having a great day at home. On behalf of myself, Sambo, Seraphis Heals a Lot, and the wonderful Regina J. Lacerda, it's us saying take care. We'll see you later, and bye-bye. Bye-bye.